and desires, I created heaven on earth. When I defaulted to my subconscious, it turned back into hell. So I said, well, wait a minute. What if I take my beliefs that constitute wishes and desires and use those as a program to rewrite the programs in my subconscious so they match my wishes and desires? And I go, you know what? 5% of the day you're consciously moving toward your wishes and desires and 95% of the day you are subconsciously moving toward your wishes and desires. So 100% of the day you're moving toward your wishes and desires. And so the concept that comes down, and it's very simple, is this, that heaven on earth is not necessarily a short moment. Heaven on earth is a, a way of life you can have every day of your life. Thank you. But how do we go in there and rewrite those? What's the actual mechanism by listening? There are three mechanisms. There are three mechanisms. I mentioned them and I said there's only three ways the subconscious learns. I got to two of them. I said, right. A, hypnosis. You want to change your program? Then use hypnosis, subliminal tapes that they used to be called. B, after you're seven, you can make new programs, but how'd you do that? By habituation, by engaging in a program like an exercise and doing it every stinking okay. day. Right. And at no, some point, it's like, now it's automatic. Yeah, because it's called a habit, okay? And C, the most important one, because of the fact that we are so close to a crisis in our planet that change is inevitable. If we continue the same behavior, then, of course, the writing's on the wall. So evolution says change of behavior. I say, well, how can you change your behavior quickly? And all of a sudden I say, uh, necessity is the mother of invention. And guess what? Something new is invented. It's called energy psychology. Uh, and uh, these are belief change modification technologies that you can change beliefs in your subconscious in minutes. And this is like, wow, this is so necessary because the faster you change your beliefs, the faster the world changes mm -hmm. for you personally and for all of us collectively. And what is like a, just an example of the energy psychology that people use? Well, uh, body code, uh, psyche oh, is psyche, a, 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 yes. Psyche. Listen, I, a very simple point. Uh, on my website, which is easy, brucelipton.com, under resources, I have uh, a listing of belief change modification techniques, energy psychology techniques. There's 20 or more of them. Uh, they're all pretty much the same in regard that they engage a super learning process, and it's through super learning that we can rewrite that subconscious. So there are three fundamental ways. Reading a self-help book will not do it. Going to a lecture will not do it. Listening to this wonderful program will not do it. That'll do it. These affect the conscious mind. Yeah. But uh, hypnosis, habituation, or energy psychology, if you want to rewrite the subconscious, that is the way the subconscious learns. So if you try to do anything other than those three, uh, it will likely not be very effective. Right. Okay. Thank you. That's very clear and I think important.